In this video, we are going to learn about database lookups. Let's have a look at this example. In this example, I have source data, and if you look at the preview data, the data is about customers. And these customers, they come from different countries. If you want to convert these countries into the country codes in a map, and you want to assign that to your destination, uh, you would need a lookup. Now if you want to use the data stored inside a database table, you will need to use a database lookup. Let's go ahead and have a look at that. Under the transformations, I go ahead and drag and drop the database lookup onto the designer. Let's go to the properties of the database lookup. And on the screen, the very first thing is the database information. Let's go ahead and uh, specify where my table resides. I'm going to use a recently used connection and you can see here it is a SQL Server database. Let's go ahead and test the connection. Connection tests successfully. Now if I come back to the screen, I can pick the table. And this table contains the data for my lookup. And this table I already have, it's called country codes. If we want, we can have a look at the country codes data. Let me go ahead and click on this button that shows me the real data inside the database table. You can see here this is the data. So the table contains uh, two columns, country and code, and uh, the country column contains the names of the countries, and the code column contains codes for the countries. Coming back to the same screen, now we have specified which table contains the lookup data. If you want, you can put any additional where clause if you want to filter any data. And then there are options about if the lookup does not contain a value or a source value. In that case, what do we do? You can add an error message or you can add a warning and proceed. Also, since uh, the lookup is going to be retrieved from the database, caching is very important. And then there are multiple options for the caching inside Enterprise. The first option is you do no caching. Second option is uh, you cache after loading. That means as the data gets loaded, it gets put into a cache. And after that, it will be used uh, in subsequent searches. And the third option is load all lookup values at the beginning itself. So the second option is kind of lazy load. And third option is basically load all the data in the beginning itself. I'm going to leave uh, the default values. That is add error message for the value not found in the lookup list and uh, for the caching I'm going to leave it to cache after loading. I click on OK and my lookup is ready. If I expand it you can see here it has true attributes the country and code. Those are the two columns from my table. Now I'll map my country onto the country in the DB lookup and now the code contains the, the looked up value. At this point I can go ahead and do a preview of the data you can see in the preview for each of the country, it finds me corresponding country code. That's what is going to flow through this node when I do a mapping for my destination. So that's how you will use a database lookup. Thank you for watching this video.